Hmm. I married young and have had only one sexual partner. Now I desire variety, but value my marriage and will not cheat. Any insight on overcoming this conflict? As a matter of fact, yes. I would say get the variety with your partner. You know, there's lots of games you can play to spice up your sexual life. You know, um, buy some lingerie, like buy a hundred pieces, you know, buy something sexy for your partner to wear, maybe multiple things. Um, buy some, buy whatever you need that you might want to experiment with. You know, I mean, you have to introduce that spirit of pretend play that you had when you were a little kid into your sexual life. And then you have many partners in the same person. And you put some thought into it, you know. I mean, sex is something that... That sex is a domain in which expertise can be developed just like any other domain. And some of that's play and fantasy play and all of that. And some of it's sexual technique. And, and I guess then the other thing I would say is take stock of each other and see if there are things that you could do in your life that would make you more attractive to one another. You know, those are hard questions because no one wants to say, well, you know, I'd be more attracted to my wife sexually if she just acted X way. And the same with regards to a, hus a wife's contemplation of her husband. But those are the real questions, man. It's like if your partner isn't acting in a manner that is sexually attractive, then either there's something wrong with you or there's something wrong with them. And of course, I know people have ill health and all of that. I'm not talking about that. But those harsh judgments that your sexual attraction makes are also very useful ways of orienting yourself towards proper behavior in the world. So I would say any insight on overcoming this conflict. Now I desire variety, but I value my marriage and will not cheat. Well, admit to the variety that you want and see to what degree you can fulfill that within the confines of the marriage. It's also part of coming into contact with the shadow, I would say, if you want to look at it from a Jungian perspective. You might have all sorts of sexual desires that are that part of you feels should remain taboo. And maybe they should. I'm not suggesting ab absolute sexually libertine behavior. I know sexuality has to be regulated very carefully. But you might be able to push yourself with some time and effort and contemplation and some admission of fantasy and all of that into domains of sexual satisfaction that you haven't achieved before.